Good afternoon and welcome to our, our second uh, group meeting as part of the fall 2020 training. Um, the idea of these sessions, of course, is to answer any questions you may have had during the intervening week, talk about the homework, do a little show and tell of those that have volunteered to present their work, and give you a preview of what's coming up in the following week. I'm just going to briefly Sorry, right, pushing the wrong buttons here. Uh, I'm just going to briefly remind folks where, where we are in the overall schedule. Uh, I have Claudia and Bart and John Mayer here with us. Um, so we are now in the September 23rd uh, call. And right in between the end of week one and the beginning of week two of this seven week of training, uh, by in this past week, you should have uh, watched the recordings uh, for the first set of materials, done the first weeks of homework, and be ready to talk and ask questions and and make comments today. Um, I'd like to get two more volunteers today for next week. I'll do that before we get too far along. And But let me just, I think we should probably unmute folks and give you a chance uh, to, uh, to raise any questions or issues. I'm sorry, several folks have had problems with the software. Well, let me unmute everybody. And uh, Kathy, I think you may have had an issue. Oh, you got muted again. So I think we're, we're having dueling organizers here. I'm, I am unmuting everybody. but evidently not successfully. Let me try one by one. I think some good. folks are self-muted. Okay. If you are self-muted, that's fine. <laughs> but if you want to speak, unmute yourself and speak. So Brittany, I see you're, you're green. So just say a word so we know you can hear us and we can hear you. Hi, I can hear you. Hey, great, good sign. Um, while, while we're hearing you, have you had any issues with the homework or the um, materials this past week? No, everything's been going fine. I've started uh, working on a couple documents on my own, just feeling it out. Um, I do have some questions though. Um, okay. So when, when I'm starting a new template, or opening a new document, what is the best way to do it? And I'm kind of confused on where it's saving everything. I know there's the the file, the template file, and then the component file. So I'm just wondering where those files are saved and how they're saved and like basically how to start a new one and where should I be saving things and how should I be naming them? Ah, okay. I think we do try to cover some of that in the materials, but Bart, if you don't mind, I'm gonna ask you to give a first shot at responding to those questions. Sure. Um, well, the, uh, the first thing I think to be clear on is that the hot docs library is basically a bunch of signposts to where things are. And so if you go, if you've created a template in, um, in hot docs and you click on that template, it will show you in the right hand pane of the library, it will show you a file path. And oftentimes that's just the, the default file path is basically your documents folder on your machine. So, um, you know, Windows basically has a sort of a shortcut to your documents folder. And I, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head exactly how to find that, but it, if it's basic, it's in, it's in a folder specific to you on your hard drive. It's like C users, something, something, something. Um, and the hot docs does that by default. It puts it in that folder and then it puts it in a folder called hot docs in that folder. And then it puts within that folder, it puts templates, it puts libraries and so forth. Um, so that's <clears throat> that's basically where it's saving the documents. 
you can change that in, in a couple of ways. One thing you can do is when you create the new template, <clears throat> you can specify a specific path, a specific place on your hard drive or on a network where you want to save the documents. And when you, wherever you save them, it's going to save, if you're creating a Word template like a DocX or RTF template, um, or an H, a hot docs PDF template, which you know we'll, we'll be dealing with further in the training, um, it saves the template itself and the component file, the CMP file, in the same folder. And they always have to be in the same folder. They can't be in separate places. Um, you can change the locate the default location also for where templates are saved by going into uh, in the hot docs menu, going to tools, options, and then file locations. Um, and you will see a list on the right that has, um, uh, uh, for type of file, it says template files. Um, it has, you know, every conceivable type of file. It shows where they go. Um, and you'll see if in a fresh install of hot docs where you have not changed the default location, for template files, you'll see doc, <clears throat> excuse me, documents, hot docs, templates. You'll also see um, locations for answer files and for um, the program files and for library files, etc. cetera. <clears throat> um, that's kind of scratching the surface a little bit, but I don't know if that raises more questions or if I've missed anything in that explanation. Yeah. I think it just, came up for me because I accidentally deleted one of the templates, um, one of the uh, default tutorial templates, and uh -huh. really struggled to try to find it again or open it or create a new one. Um, so that was a little bit confusing for me, but I, I think, think I figured it out. <laughs> yeah, I think if you close Hot Docs and reopen it, um, I think it will restore the the um, the tutorial files. Um, I'm not sure about that, but I know it tries to anyway. So um, Got it. it, yeah. And I've I've slowly brought up my own copy of Hot Docs while Bart was talking. I'm sorry for not having enough sooner, but this is the Hot Docs options screen, which I think is covered in lesson two. So the materials this coming week get into some of this stuff. But there are a bunch of, bunch of settings in Hot Docs. Uh, I usually recommend just sticking with the defaults with one or two exceptions, but you can find out where everything lives and you can change it if, you were, if you're uh, feeling dangerous uh, through the options. The other thing I think as Bart talked about is hot docs libraries are simply collections of pointers to, to your templates. And templates of course always have a, a template file, usually a Word, a Word document or a, a PDF document uh, with special features and an associated component file, they live together in the same folder. And whenever you have a library, you can look and see at, for a given item in your library where it is. So it'll tell you the file path of its location. And if you right click on an item in your library, you can go to the template, which means open up the Windows directory 